The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Jesus came home with his disciples. Again the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, but they said, He is out of his mind. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summing them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that king kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder the house. Amen. I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemies against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. But they for they had said, He has an unclean spirit. His mother and his brother arrived. Standing outside, they sent word to him and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Or whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Mark chapter 3 verse 35. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today's responsorial psalm, we all sang with the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. So today's readings reveal to us mercy of God and also His redemption is available for all of us. And we see the first reading taken from Genesis and also the gospel reading from Saint Mark chapter 3. So within the family in the first reading and again within the individual lives how the mercy of God and also redemption of God is shown to us given to us dear brothers and sisters. Sometimes when we are dealing with the sin, 
are dealing with the unexpected things. We also struggle between the forces of between the good and evil. Sometimes, so evil attack us in our spiritual journey. Evil always attack the families and the individual lives. And sometimes we also try to figure out and try to question why we are facing this, the problems, brokenness and conflicts, all these things. We don't understand, but the fact, the reality, Satan strategy is always to defeat us. That is why the influence of the evil always there. You believe it or not, you like it or not, always the influence of the evil and also the work of Satan. So try to put you down and also make you sad. But here, in the second reading, St. Paul explains his second letter to Corinthians. In the beginning, he talked about the spirit of faith that he received because of that he believed and also he preached. And he is also giving uh, amazing words our amazing message to help us in our spiritual journey. I'm not going to read all the second reading, but something touched my heart. Very beautiful words, St. Paul, that I want you to read this again, reflect again, because it's a very important message St. Paul is giving us. And he says, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Remember that. We are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So it's a beautiful message. We are not discouraged because the things that are happening in our life, in our family, in our society, in the country, in the world, we are not discouraged. Rather, Although our outer self is wasting away, look like, but our inner self is being renewed day by day. This is because our inner self is renewed day by day because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Otherwise, it is impossible. So, our first reading. It is completely attack on the family, the first family, Adam and Eve. God created them in his own image and likeness and given them everything, but also instructed them the danger that if they eat the forbidden fruit. But what happened? Instead of listening to the voice of God, obedience to the voice of God, Adam and Eve, they disobeyed God's will. They disobeyed God. When God came and God asked a question, where are you? This is the first question in the Bible, where are you? When God asked, the man answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid 
because I was naked, so I hid myself. So this is called realization. Before that, he walked with God and he was happy, peaceful, talking with God. It is a loving and intimate relationship. After disobedience, what happened? And he heard and he, he was hiding. Again, the fear entered into his heart. That is why when I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then again God asked, who told you that you are naked? Who told you that you are naked? The second question. Dear brothers and sisters, listening to the voice of God, always the best thing in our life and obedience to God's will is the best thing. And we see our father Jesus said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Praise the Lord. Thy will be done. God's will be done. Listening to him is the best thing. And here disobedience had brought them shame, guilty, fear, and what happened? They are hiding. So th then God also reminded about that what you did. And when he asked what man said, is not taking the responsibility of the sin and instead of that is blaming other person. It happens within the family when husband and wife something happened and instead of taking the responsibility and blaming other person. It is because of you I did this. It is because of you I did this. That's what same thing happened with Adam, what he said, he gave me this woman and she gave me the fruit I ate because of her. Otherwise, I'm good. I'm holy man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> because of her, I ate that. And again, God asks you, why did you do such a thing? Why did you do such a thing and what he said the woman said the serpent tricked me into it so I ate it and the woman also did not take the responsibility instead of that serpent tricked me and in another translation serpent cheated me that is why I ate so this is the same thing, even after thousands of years, we all experience, instead of taking the responsibility of the sin and confess and repent, instead of that, we blame or try to escape or try to hide. So that is uh, a spiritual danger is there because of that. Blaming other person, not taking responsibility, not uh, repenting, not renewing. So, dear brothers and sisters, there are three important things. Realization is important thing. The second thing, repentance. The sins that we committed, take the responsibility and repent for that because God's mercy God's redemption, compassion available for you. And again, renewing or reconciliation, triple R, or realization, repentance, and reconciliation or renewing is very important, dear brothers and sisters. Because listening to God and also we are. Our inner self is being renewed day by day because of that. Then we can come out of this, the situation that 
we are going through in our life, all the things that we face because of the influence of the evil, and we are able to come out of that. On today's Gospel reading, taken from Mark's Gospel, we also hear during the time of Jesus' ministry, when he began and he was preaching, and also he was teaching, and also the ministry that Jesus continued through healing, and healing many people who are sick, and also raising the dead, feeding the people who are hungry. And among all the things, other thing also Jesus did, driving out the demons or evil spirits from the people who are possessed. And he also gave that power to his apostles when he sent apostles to go and proclaim the good news. Not only that, I'm giving you the power to heal and to draw out uh, uh, the evil spirits. It is called exorcism, given a power to drive out the demons. When Jesus was doing, and what happened, Jesus was also blamed by the people because of the ministry that he was doing in his own town. When Jesus went home with his disciples, his own relatives came and they tried to say about Jesus, he is out of his mind. What does it mean? He has gone mad. Jesus is crazy like that. His own relatives insulted him, attacked him. And again, scribes came from Jerusalem. They also said he is possessed by Bilger Bull. So they also attributed the work that Jesus was doing. It is because of the power of the prince of demons. They are trying to tell about Jesus Christ. Even some of them, they said he has an unclean spirit. Look at that. The more good work Jesus is doing, how the evil, through the evil people, attacking Jesus, all these things, you are crazy, you are out of mind, and also you are possessed by the prince of demons and he has an unclean, unclean spirit. All the things happen to Jesus Christ. When you are attacked in your family, when you are going through the things like they say you are crazy because of your devotion and faith, and when you are going through your life with the faith life, you are also have same attacks by the evil. Because the strategy of Satan is to defeat you, to destroy you, to destroy your family and to destroy your spiritual journey and uh, put you down and make your life mess. That is what happens. So Jesus was treated badly all the things that we hear in today's Gospel reading. And I heard uh, somebody sharing with a priest and said, oh, Father, in my family, so they call me, I'm crazy. The priest said, you are not crazy, you are crazy. Praising God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because you are crazy, not crazy. Because we know who is your creator. Who You know who created you, and also you know who redeems you, you know your God, and you know how to love your neighbor, how to love your God, and also you know how to forgive other people, and you know the light that shines in our soul. That is why you are not crazy, you are crazy. Means a person who praises God, dear brothers and sisters. When Jesus was attacked by his own family and also other people, what Jesus did? He was not sad. 
and he was not anxious and he was also not attacking them instead of that he summed them everything together he began to teach them through the parables that is something we can learn from our lord jesus when you are attacked uh, by the ungodly people in the society a uh, people who don't know god and insult you you don't need to insult other people you don't need to attack and we can try to explain through the parables otherwise in silent you can pray for them you don't need to worry about that if it is not you why you worry instead of that my god knows me i know my god so god told me to forgive let me forgive let me continue my journey my life with my god so jesus taught them three parables very uh, small small parables but it is also giving us a very important message he said that if a kingdom is divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand the first parable the second parable if a house is divided against itself that house will not be able to stand the last one if anybody wants to so flounder the property from the strong man he has to tie that strong man stronger man comes then only tying him can flounder all the property is otherwise it's not possible all these three things jesus explain so i just want to concentrate on two things the first and second one because he also explain a kingdom is divided against itself it cannot stand and the house is divided against itself that will not be able to stand because god wants uh, wants us to have the unity and god wants us to have the peace and uh, respecting each other loving each other forgiving each other and we experience heaven on earth and what happens in the marriage sometimes because of the influence of the evil instead of respecting loving forgiving and understanding god's plan and we try to attack each other we try to see all the small small things and using them to attack other person try to put them so it becomes a family of division it is not becoming a family of unity family that prays together stays together it is not going to be like that because of the influence it is divided so it cannot stand dear brothers and sisters explaining to that again jesus said if i am doing because of this power of this uh, demon or prince of demons so th- that kingdom will not stand because it is what you are talking is not right i am the messiah and accepting jesus as savior we are redeemed so they fail to accept jesus as messiah and they fail to accept jesus as savior they fail to expect um accept jesus as the spirit of god the holy spirit then jesus also taught them it is very dangerous for you anything any sin that you commit against the holy spirit so will not be forgiven and there is eternal punishment so he explained to them dear brothers and sisters after that again mary and also um his brothers and sisters who are cousin brothers and sisters everybody they came for jesus christ and jesus they are standing outside and asking uh, for him when the in the crowd so they inform your mother your brothers and sisters are uh, there looking for you and what jesus said he extended the spiritual family like it's not just my family those who here 
does the will of my god is my brother sister and mother this is something we learn we are part of jesus family if you do god's will and then dear brothers and sisters we also experience his compassion and love and mercy and redemption in our life journey we always renew day by day because of god's power it happens whenever you are crying out to god the spiritual family today we are thankful to god and jesus said whoever does the will of god he is my brother sister and mother are you doing the will of the father or not are you doing the will of evil think about that dear brothers and sisters today the three things that i explained during the my message realization the second thing repentance the last one renewing or coming together and reconcile with god reconcile with our neighbor help us to experience the power of god which renews us day by day amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit